Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another reaction video for today and this time I'm taking a look at another Call of Duty trailer that came out. Um, this was alongside the uh, Season 1 Battle Pass trailer. Uh, this is the Season 1 Deep Dive, so we're going to get a big look at both Cold War and Warzone's new season. Um, and it's for, I guess, the first season for Cold War. Is this actually technically the first season for Warzone? Or are they counting this as the first season for Cold War slash Warzone? Like, them combined as one game? Because Warzone's just going to keep going on and on as the thing that is attached to each Call of Duty game. Like, every year there's not going to be a new Warzone. It's just going to update along with the brand new Call of Duty, right? 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 Anyway, um, that, that seems right. Anyway, let's watch this. It's six minutes long. I have no idea what to expect. Uh, you got uh, Adler here with uh, some nice gruff, some man gruff on him. At least I'm pretty sure it's Adler. Uh, yeah, he's got this guy. Yeah, let's go. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. This week, Black Ops Cold War will invade Warzone with Season 1 storming onto consoles and PC. Players will get free content throughout the season, including eight free maps across Black Ops Cold War multiplayer, three free to acquire weapons, a new battle pass, eight, system, and more. Holy shit! Today, members of the trailer and Raven development teams provided a bit more insight into what's in store. Holy the shit! Studio broadcast. Check Nuketown. I know they had a new version the of Nuketown that was like a DLC right now, or something we're dropping into or pre-order. With Raven senior executive producer Ryan Burnett to learn more about Warzone's new map. When we thought of Rebirth Island, we wanted to look back into the Black Ops lore and really dig deep into where did the Nova 6 gas originate from. Players will experience uh, open area and open island uh, where we'll be able to roam around the map. And That's the new villains the center right? of this island is the actual bioweapons facility. Season 1 also marks the arrival of three new operators. Out of the gate, starting the week launch, players will get to know Stitch. Stitch. Discarded by the Soviets, he's a former bioweapons expert hellbent on revenge. Cool. With new play spaces and operators in the mix, you'll need some additional tools in the toolbox. Expect a huge addition to your Warzone armory, as a vast infusion of Cold War weaponry becomes available for you to use in your loadouts. Unless a weapon has a particular challenge needed to unlock it, Black Ops Cold War primary and secondary weapons, including blueprint variants, will now be accessible in Warzone. Here's Treyarch's Tony Flame to share more about the two new weapons players can expect at launch, along with a brand new score streak. Show some more maps. Oh, rifle. score streak too. Cool. Uh, it's a bullpup, which means it's going to be a little bit quicker on the draw. You're going to be able to ADS a little bit quicker. You'll be coming out of sprint a little bit faster. I might and want to want this gun. Visually. On the flip side, to switch to the Mac 10. You've got a traditional Black Ops. I do use it's SMG. Incredible SMG. It's got the fastest fire rate of all the SMGs. It's kind so, of a hose, I might want to try this use. one out. This is the score streak, the harp, the high altitude recon plane. Okay, you call yeah. it in, and it's going to tell you where all the enemies are. It's going to show the direction they're facing. Oh, my There's hair. no counter for it because it's a high level looking. score streak. Need a shave. Uh, other than to shoot it down. Things don't quite go your way in Warzone. You'll get the chance for another go, but this time with two new Gulag experiences. Oh, cool. The Rebirth Island is all about uh, the prisoners, right? So as you go down the hallway... Oh, you get to shank down, someone like, there? The go off, alert your enemy, Just like, let you know where you're at. So we're adding a little twist there to your 1v1. Okay, so Shipping it's making it a little bit more... Multiplayer, the launch of Season 1 also ushers in the arrival of More like of a hide-and-seek a little bit. Mixing up a range of 6v6, 2v2, and fire team experiences. Here, for the rundown, is Treyarch's Matt Schrantz. We've got a new 6v6 map, The Pine, and an 80s mall. So we've got all the oh, yeah, that's some, the mall that's Raid in the trailer. Is returning. Raid? Plays really well in every game mode. I don't it's remember that map. A lot of time focusing I'm not a big Call of Duty guy. Raid plays like it played in Black Ops 2. We'll have U-Bahn. It's actually under the Berlin Wall. And it's an underground like map. We also have ICBM, which I believe is actually our smallest gunfight map. It's located in a launch facility. We've got KGB, which is located in a Soviet Damn. financial building. Uh, we've got Game Show, and this is just the, oh, Game Show, is sick! That. It is set on a on a Game Show stage. Newtown Holiday. What did those no, the numbers mean? Is that what they said? We've got snow. That's pants. very good. Looking ahead to some other things mid-season, looks like the team's got some plans for some eight new maps. Yeah, Obviously, not the day yeah, one, we'll right? It'll be spread across it's the season. Our biggest fire team map to date. We find that it lets you spread your wings a little bit further. With Newtown 84 now in the mix, 
Treyarch delivers on the nostalgia with a holiday-themed version of the Black Ops cult classic. It was Ooh. just it was just a fun the thing when we were classic? stringing up the lights and kind of brainstorming what we could do. Can it's, it be a cult classic when it's this different. huge? You know what I mean? Cool. The holiday spirit isn't just limited to Nukecon. Turns out that the undead get a whole oh, lot undeader cool. in Dima Shootout. There's no man. Treyarch turning the map into more of a winter wasteland than a wonderland. This season, there's plenty of cheer to keep you in the Yuletide mood. Uh, we are You're freezing with snowballs. That's of, great. Called Jingle Hells, uh, which is a retheming of Dimashina for the holidays. Players will now use snowballs scattered across the map to freeze zombies and drop presents. And inside those presents, you'll get all sorts of things, ranging from nice. to ray guns. That's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. Battle pass weapons and customization I haven't really played zombies. any zombies yet in the Cold War. Also get new play spaces for Onslaught on PlayStation. Throughout the seasons, as we add these multiplayer maps, they will be added to Onslaught as well. So you'll be finding new opportunities to earn chalices and take on as many megatons as you can to earn rewards. Later this season, in addition to the Pines, we'll be adding Raid as well. Additionally, fans can okay. expect the new crank mode for the first time ever in Zombies, coming mid-season. Plus, much more to come for Zombies in Season crank 2. Mode. So you have a timer of 30 seconds that's ticking down, which is zero, you die. Um, every oh, time you uh, kill a zombie, that timer resets. It's even more fancy uh, okay. for a player when you're okay, juggling you. all these It's like a time trial thing, but when you sure find, like, stays alive. When like a one clock one, or whatever, you run over and you get a little bit extra time. Length, player progression prestige levels, and the battle pass between Black Ops Cold War and Warzone becomes available in Season 1. That's right. When Season 1 drops, expect your season level to be synchronized based on your current season level in Black Ops Cold War. Your previous unlocks from Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare, such as weapons, perks, score streaks, and more, will remain unlocked. For all the details about Season 1 and what's yeah, in store, head to callofduty.com to learn more. Okay. Wow. Um, Jesus. All right. So yeah, they're definitely adding a lot. I haven't watched this yet. Um, they're adding a lot. They're adding, they're adding quite a bit. Uh, I'm assuming people are just still upset that a lot of this stuff wasn't there day one. Um, how many maps are actually in Cold War right now before this new season comes out? Um, because I actually don't really know. I I've played a few hours, but I haven't really gotten down to like knowing exactly how many maps I've played on. Um, the only one I know I don't like is the one that's on the ship. Um, is it a ship? Yeah, it's a ship. Um, where you, like, go down. Like, there's two areas to go down, one on the left, one on the right, and everybody camps there. Uh, and there's, like, a part in the middle that, like, you can pass and go to either side or what. I, I, I hate that one. I really do. Uh, people snipe all the time, which is fine. I, I get it. But there's a lot. It's, it's a small enough map where... You can spawn, walk a little bit, and then get sniped by somebody because they expect someone to be spawned there. Because um, I've played this map a lot. Because <laughs> the skill-based matchmaking is not very good. Um, I didn't. I, I never. I, again, I, I I didn't have too many problems where that happened a lot. But I don't play a lot is the problem. So if I played a lot, then I'd be like, yeah, this is bullshit, probably. Um, but yeah. Anyway, there you go. That's uh, the deep dive. Eight new maps. Eight. How long does a season usually last for Call of Duty? Um, I'm assuming is it actually like the length of a season or like three months? I don't know. I have no idea. So I guess we'll find out. So there you go. That's uh, Cold War. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.